Yo, what is good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC that is the Everyday City Carry. Today, we rush in once again, doing an unboxing before work. Gonna be using the Hinderer XM18 3 inch non flipper spear point. I know I be fucking up names lately on my reviews and stuff. The Trapper Zulu thing, Pena X series, that was Shabazz's fault. He told me it was the Trapper, so you can't argue with Nick Shabazz. I called it the Trapper, it was the Zulu. My bad to Pena X series on that. But this is all, I also made a mistake on this because in the note of the person who loaned this to me, they said this was the Spanto. It is not, it is the Spear Point. I have since tried to correct that on my Instagram. But anyway, we're gonna use it to unbox this today. Let's see what's in here. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this new format because it's certainly much easier for me to do these and I feel like the quality has improved and holy crap, first of all, drop ship for the people, one time. I have got a best deck. I have got a best deck. <laughs> I have got a steel wheel. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, what, I did it. Oh, another best deck. What the heck is going on? What do we do with this? Uh, all right, so this is crazy. This is crazy right now. Let us do the best techs first. I'm gonna go with the biggest best tech right here. This is the Hedron, okay? I don't know which one this is. As you guys know, my knowledge of releases is quite, well, it's zero, basically. <laughs> uh, you get your typical best tech books and crap, warranties and all that. Your boy has got a cool one here. Best tech silica gel, just playing. Look at this. Look at this, guys. It is very rare that I get a fixed blade. Wow. I like this one, man. I'm usually not into fixed blades. This is an O-Stop Hell design, which is awesome. He's a cool dude. I see D2 blade steel marking on the blade there. And this definitely has O-Stop Hell vibes. You got the two. Is this a collaboration with Poltergeist Works or something? Is that what they're called? Let me give you guys some good views of this. One thing I notice in my unboxing is they kind of move around too crazy. You got a double jump on the top there. If you guys can see that I don't know if you guys can but that's very cool because you can do stuff like this you can do stuff like that um, nice weight to it let's check the balance a little bit uh, that's about the middle right there so you know for you balance freaks <laughs> oh you got jumping on the bottom here too so I'm not gonna spend too much time on each knife because I do have four knives here holy crap I'm already going to be late, but this is the Hedron, or the Hedron, whatever you want to call it. You got a little, uh, I guess this is a Kydex sheath. There's your little belt loop right there. And I guess you can remove it if you want. You've got uh, Phillips screws on the other side. And maybe like switch that out to your type of configuration. Um, not used to looking at fixed blades, but definitely appreciate Best Tech for sending these to me. I think they want me to do a lot of testing with these, so maybe I'll be doing a lot of testing videos in the next couple of weeks. I have got, uh, this is the Reticulin in medium. I've never gotten to check out the medium one. I got to check out the, I went like this, like I had a knife in my hand, but I'm really just, I'm just used to doing that now. <laughs> uh, oh shit, I forgot to put this little booklet back. I'm a little bit hyped right now. Um, best tech silica gel, best part. You've also got a uh, wiping cloth in here and your best tech warranty books and crap. And uh, let's see what we got going on. So the reticulin was an, it is an Elijah Isham design and I got to try out the small one. I did enjoy it, but I never got to try the big one. So that's what we gonna do right now, boy. Look at that, holy crap. 
Wow! Look at that, is it palm ready? Yeah! I think I'm gonna carry this today. And you guys know I dig Elijah Isham. Hey, what happened to his um his logo with the with the the eye the the glasses and the mustache? I like that better. I think this is like the coat of arms one. S35VN titanium frame lock flipper. How's the action on the is it fall shut? A little bit tough on the sh the, the fall shuttiness, but you can use the opening hole for a middle finger flick, which is awesome, and I'm assuming you could slow roll it. Yes, you can. But you've also got that Isham style flipper right there. Minimal, disappears. Well, kinda, it kinda <laughs> doesn't disappear. What are you talking about, right? You got this finger choil thing going on here. The little guard, and then you have this. So plenty of cool grips on this one. You can also do this, I'm assuming, if you wanna like scrape off some stuff. Uh, this is fucking cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna carry this today. This is definitely going on TikTok today. Unless these other knives that I'm about to check out right now beat this. This is the Reticulin in medium. Let's see. This one is... Oh, this is the small one. So I did get to check out this one before. But let us look at it really quick. You do get a little small cloth here. Um, uh, Best Tech Books and Crap. And you get like a little sheath for it. I do remember that in the other one. Um, cool bead necklace, but it's not a bead. It's like cooler chains. Like it looks cooler than a regular bead necklace. Let's show you guys that real quick actually. Maybe you do want to see that, I'm not sure. But it's different. I like that. I don't know how much these are by the way. I'm going to try to put specs up on the screen if I remember to do that. <laughs> ah, this is like a very cool anodized one. If you guys can see that. Check out the small ass flipper. Wow, look at that guys. That's fucking crazy. Damn, best tech hooking it up. Another Elijah Isham. This is basically just a smaller version of the other guy I just took out. S35VN frame lock, um, titanium frame lock flipper. You do have an opening hole, but <laughs> that, sound, that sounded sexual, but it's not. Um, very hard to middle finger flick this one, but the flipper is just fine. Like little cool neck knife thing. Uh, maybe my girl would like something like this. Let's put this back. Let's just put it down, actually. Because I gotta get going on this. Uh, and I've got one more knife left, which I've been expecting for a little bit. And I will do a little recap of what I got. This is a steel wheel. This is the, the nutcracker. <laughs> Let's open this up right now. Steel wheel books and crap. Haven't had a steel wheel in my on my table for a while. Oh man! Dang, this is sick. This is the Nutcracker. You've already got the red barrel spacers. Steel wheel making a statement. I feel with like kind of like very loud yet fashionable knives. You know what I'm saying? Like. If I was in a place where I could openly carry and not care, I would match my gear or like my, my fit for the day with this. Wear like a gray and black outfit with some red kicks and then you whip this out, bro. Fashion, son. You know what I mean? This is the Nutcracker. I don't know what blade steel this is. I'm going to assume D2. Um, the clip looks like that. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see how ergonomic it is. The action is pretty good. I'm gonna assume this is uh, 60 bucks. That's my guess on it. Adequate jimping in the middle right there. So you can do this. And, uh, huh. Pretty decent ergo so far. That, um, that the clip doesn't, mm, I've gotta use it to see if it pokes into my hand. This little guy right here. Let's see. Just a drop, Shuddy. I think because the blade is heavy. Yeah, look at that stock. Interesting, interesting blade shape too, because you can get this. This is nice right here. Check that out. That's a nice little grip right there. Interesting. Thank you so much, all the companies who have sent me this. I know some of this is via the Apex and some of this is via um, Best Tech directly. Um, and yeah, just gonna do a recap of what we got going on and what is coming soon to the channel because I might make more content of this. Definitely gonna go on TikTok, YouTube, and um, 
IG, Reels, the whole deal. You guys know if you follow me and all the other stuff. Uh, let's take this out, and I'm gonna take the Hedron out again too. Damn, what a what a morning, man. Dude, when you got knives to unbox in the morning, your day gonna go well. It just gonna go well, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. So we got the Hedron right here. Or Hedron, whatever you want to call it. Ostop Hell Design. D2. Look at that. Is that micarta? I believe it is. Beautiful, beautiful fixed blade. I like this. You got the mini reticulin or the small. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane. That is insane, yo. <laughs> Holy crap. And then you got the regular size, which I'm gonna carry today. Or the medium, rather. I guess there is a large one. This is cool, dude. Damn. Damn you, Aisha. Make me wanna spend the money. And of course, the last but not least, Steel Will Nutcracker. Interesting knife, interesting blade shape, G10. Not sure what the blade steel is, I'm gonna assume D2. Pocket clip, um, colorful barrel spacers, and the lanyard hold coming out through the back too is another nice touch. I don't wanna stab myself like this. <laughs> Decent action on that. But that is it for the video. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.